once you have postgres database ready with the required table you should be able to use pandas to connect to the database and run queries against the database tables let's get into the details uh, when it comes to integrating pandas with postgres as a database you need to have couple of libraries the first one is nothing but sql alchemy the second one is nothing but actual database related library such as scikit-g2 pg8000 etc when it comes to python there are quite a few popular ones one of the prominent ones is nothing but pg8000 while pg8000 serve the purpose of connecting to the database sql alchemy will provide abstraction layer to connect to the underlying databases no matter which database you want to connect to using pandas we typically follow this process we will install sql alchemy then we install the underlying database library then we are good to go after installing the required libraries we will also review pd dot read underscore sql function when it comes to pd it is nothing but pandas alias once we review the function read underscore sql in pandas then we will actually get into the details about querying a table using pandas using this function also we should be able to write a data frame to a table we'll also go through the details about how to write a data frame into the table in subsequent lectures or in other videos to take care of installation of sql alchemy and pg8000 we just have to launch the terminal once the terminal is launched we should be able to say pip install sql alchemy let me hit enter first let me uh, successfully install sql alchemy then i'll take it further you can see it is attempting to install sql alchemy now sql alchemy is installed now we also need to install something called as pg8000 let me hit enter you can see it is successfully installed now let me exit from here let me make sure i select the right kernel the kernel in which i have installed is nothing but this one then i should be able to import pandas like this once pandas is imported i should be able to say help then pd dot read underscore sql to get the documentation of this important function now i would like to go to the complete documentation for that i have to click on text editor you can see all the arguments read underscore sql takes the mandatory arguments are nothing but sql and con the others are optional we'll actually get into the other uh, arguments whenever it is required for now let's review the details about these two important arguments the first argument is nothing but sql as part of the sql either you can pass a query or a table name then when it comes to the second argument it is nothing but con which stands for connection you should be able to follow sql alchemy syntax and provide the connection details once you come up with the required code you will understand what i'm talking about here so we need to pass two mandatory arguments one is nothing but sql and the second one is nothing but connection now let's go here let's say pd dot read underscore sql already in my database there is a table by name users you can see here the database which i'm going to connect is nothing but car sales db i'll be using this user car sales user the host name is nothing but localhost the port number is 5432 in my case the password is nothing but uh, itvst when it comes to public schema in this database there is a table called as users i'll be attempting to uh, get data from this users table so the first argument is nothing but the table name users now the second argument is nothing but sql alchemy based connection string it will be something like this uh, first you have to specify the database engine it is nothing but postgres sql then plus then the library which we are going to use to connect to underlying database in our case it is nothing but pg8000 then you have to say colon double forward slash then user then password then at the rate host then port then db or database name so in this case the username is nothing but car underscore sales underscore user the password which i have used to set up this user is nothing but itvst the host is nothing but localhost because the database is running on the same machine where we are trying to run this python code when it comes to port number it is nothing but 5432 when it comes to database name it is nothing but car underscore sales underscore db now let's attempt running this you see it have successfully ran uh, you can assign it to a variable let's say users underscore df equal to then pd dot read underscore sql with the two arguments now let me run this it have ran successfully 
you should be able to say users underscore df dot shape to get details of this data frame you can also say users underscore df dot head to get first few records in this case we have only two both the records are displayed this is how you should be able to integrate pandas with postgres as a database all you need to do is you just have to install these two libraries the first one is ORM which is nothing but SQL Alchemy. The second one is database related library. In our case we have used PG8000. Depending upon your database you have to install relevant library. Then you have to use pd.read underscore sql as demonstrated. You just have to pass either table name or query as the first argument and then connection string. Even though I have demonstrated using Postgres as example you should be able to follow similar steps with any other databases. That being said, if you are watching this on YouTube, in case if you wanted to get into the details about uh, how to integrate pandas with specific uh, database, let us know. On top of Postgres, we wanted to create uh, content related to other databases so as well. However, we just wanted to take your feedback. Feel free to add to comments. We'll pick it from there and we'll add more content around integration of pandas with relevant databases. Again, if you are watching this on YouTube, if you like this video, feel free to click on like button. In case if you have any feedback or suggestions, feel free to use comment section and also make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit on bell icon so that you are notified whenever we publish this kind of content on our YouTube channel. As Pandas and Postgres are integrated, we should be able to use this for any purpose. Uh, we can also write data into the Postgres table. Uh, we can read from other tables. We can run queries as well.